Hey guys, how's it going? Just shooting a video here. I'm showing you like the world's best insect pest management that nobody knows about. These things that you're looking at right here are just called soap nuts or soap berries. And all you do for this, I kind of mentioned it a little bit in the last video, is all you need is a quarter cup of the soap nuts. I crush them up a little bit. I put them in a Ziploc bag just so they're like quarter sizes, no bigger than really a half size, and five gallons of water in a compost bag. <coughs> so again, yeah, these things are hands down the best uh, insecticide. It's 100% organic, your insect pest management for the top layer, like for spraying on as a foliar. And uh, on Monday, I'm going to pick up the stuff that you use for your best, uh, keeps out the bugs and stuff for the soil. But for now, I'll show you how I make this. Like I said, it's just a uh, quarter cup. I don't know if this crap camera will pick it up, but I just get a quarter cup of uh, the crushed ones, like the smaller ones here. Let's scoop them in. But you can see, I was saying it's a little more expensive in the last video. Like this amount was about six bucks, and it's gonna last me. You can see how much that is, a quarter cup out of these, and this will last you five. I just say at least four times, and you can see how much is left, right, even from in the little crushed bag here. So, all you do is you get that, your little $1.25 reusable whatever produce bag that we're using for our compost teas and stuff. Just pour the quarter cup of nuts in. Do not, I repeat, do not aerate this. It'll look like just something crazy. But yeah, see the thing's got the little drawstring on it with the uh, like the little ball or whatever on it. Put that in. It'll soak down. It'll float. It'll do whatever. They got the little string there. It's perfect just to tie off. Now I said, do not aerate this. It'll bubble up so much. All you do is you just get a stick or something every once in a while when you walk by. Just give it a little stir. And uh, this was the same pail as the foliar we used last time. I just put some, uh, like, the hydrogen peroxide with water, cleaned it out with, like, the microband J cloth, and I uh, put the bubbler in the clear water for, eh, I don't know. It was, I did that other spray this morning, this video. It's starting to get dark out. It's around 8.30 at night, almost 9. So you want this stuff to sit for 24 hours. And your insect pest management, I always spray at nighttime or like right when the sun's almost gone down or just gone down. And uh, if anyone has questions why, I'm just not going to explain it right now why it's better at night than daytime for insect pest management. The foliar spray, like a foliar feed, doesn't matter as much. But for the insect pest management, yeah, you want to do that before the sun sets, like or as it's just setting or has set. So... Anytime you walk by this, just give it a little stir and that little quarter cup of nuts that are sitting in there tomorrow, 24 hours, because it's uh, I'm going to be spraying this this time tomorrow. Let it sit there and it'll be all ready to rock and roll for you. So it's the thing that nobody knows about. And if they do, I don't know why they keep it to themselves, but it's honestly the best insect. People, I see everyone out there using frass and it does help in the neem, neem seed meal. I use neem oil, but this stuff is even better than the neem oil and Dr. Bronner's. Like, I'll use that as well. But honestly, for insects, if I ever have any, which the best thing is honestly just have super healthy plants. Use your, uh, like you'll see with the silica and the calcium and stuff, the stalks are so thick. And then it just really, that's its own preventative. Uh, calcium and silica is really a key for preventing powdery mildew. If anyone had that as a foliar and... And uh, then if you really want to get into it, use amino acids. My battery looked like it just about to die at the 420 mark, so I'll cut this off. But yeah, I'll touch on that later. If anything, for people had powdery mildew issues, or if they want me to do a video on how to get rid of that and stop that from ever happening, or if you have it to get rid of it, let me know. But yeah, I don't know if this flash will turn back on. Ah! Battery's probably almost dead. Yeah, it is. There it goes. <laughs> but yeah, if you can still see these soap nuts, some places call them soap beans. You can get them at high-end living soil places 
or this one is actually from the bulk barn there's bulk barn things like we get all those big scoops of M&Ms and stuff this was about six bucks five or six bucks so world's best insect pest management insecticide that you'll ever use and that's all you have to do and I'll be ready tomorrow morning do not aerate this shit alright have fun peace happy fourth of July America